Hi, and welcome back to the third episode of a new series where we'll be using the new Unity 5 to make a really simple game. In today's episode, we'll be learning about game states and also scripting and the inspector, which is a tab in the Unity 5 game editor. So let's begin. Okay, so this is where we left off at the previous episode with our empty game object and our first scene. Okay, but today we are going to focus on the different game states. So usually in a game, you would have okay a start starting scene where you have maybe a menu that says play okay this scene in the game can be considered as the starting game state so if you press on the play button okay and the game starts, the game state will change from the beginning state to the game's playing state. So when the game starts, maybe some enemies will appear. And maybe this is you trying to shoot them. Okay, so this is the playing state. So this is the playing state when the game is in session and if you fail to maybe meet the game's objectives or if you die, okay, the game state will change from playing to usually a game over. Okay, game over state. And this is usually when you have a restart, a quick restart button so that if anyone who uses or other clicks on or taps on the, on the restart button, okay, the game will restart and it will go back to the playing state. Okay, so usually a game will have three different states. Okay, the beginning, okay, the playing, and the game over state. Okay, so how do we translate these different game states back in Unity 5? Okay, so let's go back to the Unity 5 game editor. Okay, so we left off here from the previous episode. So to start to manage the different game states, okay, first we are going to rename our game object. Okay. And we are going to call it game manager. Okay, so a game manager, like the name suggests, manages anything related to a game. So, okay, next, okay, go to your project directory and create a new folder, okay, for scripts, and this is where we'll be doing most of our C sharp scripting that helps to make the game a piece. Okay, so for our game manager. Okay, we are going to create a new script just for our game manager and the name of our script will be game manager. Okay, so now select your game manager game object on the game objects list for the current scene and choose add component. Okay, so 
instead of choosing from all from this list just type in game manager and press enter okay so what you have just done is that you have attached your game manager script to this game manager which is also a game object okay so double click on it and mono develop will start and load the game manager script up okay so how do we actually manage the different game states? Okay, we'll be using a emulation type which helps you okay, identify when or rather where the state of the game is at. So we start from beginning, okay, playing and game over okay so for this we need a game state game state okay so we have gone through managing game states okay now let's move on to scripting and the inspector okay so now we are in the mono develop script editor but let's go back to the unity 5 game editor for a moment and take a look at the game manager game object okay notice that now below the game manager script component which you have just added there is a new parameter called game state that appeared and you can select the game state that you want okay this is because you have created a, a emulation type with the three different game states and since you have created a variable or parameter of game state and you have set it as public okay the unity 5 game editor can assess it and you can change it from within the Unity 5 game editor. Okay, so this is useful for if you are collaborating with maybe an artist or a sound designer, or if you need to test various stuff. So, for example, you can also do things like okay, Boolean, which is either true or false, if demo. Like, for example, if you have a demo and a paid version of your game and you want to easily check and uncheck it, so create something like this in the script and in Unity, back in the Unity 5 game editor, okay, a checkbox will appear because if it is checked, it's true, but if it's not checked, it's false. So this allows you to easily change values on the fly from the Unity 5 game editor but make sure that you do not abuse it as sometimes changing values here can make or break your game without you realizing it if you have too many parameters ongoing. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be looking at adding our first character and animating it so yeah thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video we will be looking at scenes and game objects so let's begin okay in unity